Yeah, roll it. Okay. So this first caban is by um, a graphic designer from Portugal, from Lisbon, um, called Catarina Carreras. And she um, plays a lot with typography, so use the caban structure to create this 3D type. So this side says enter, the other side says exit. So she very much used the structure as a platform to generate these kind of new dimensions in type. We are Fabrica. Uh, Fabrica is a creative research lab funded by Benetton, uh, based in Italy. Um, it's a residency programme for young people um, of all different creative disciplines, from video making to interaction design, graphic design, music, creative writing. And we are representative of the design department, which is the department which focuses on products and furniture and installations. Uh, I'm Dean Brown, I'm from Scotland. And I'm Kirsty, and I'm from London and a product designer. I'm Georgia Zanellato and I'm a product designer as well. Next Cabans is a project about nomadic structures, nomadic living, um, uh, travelling, um, pop-up culture, uh, small spaces. So the project was inspired by this temporary structure? It's a structure that we found in an antiques market. Um, in Scotland and basically the structure is a kind of redundant structure from many many years ago. Um, what we think it's for is for fishing or for um, sheltering you when you're like at the beach or something like this. Um, but basically there's kind of clues about what it's about. Um, what we do know is that it's no longer in use, it's a kind of redundant old-fashioned idea. Um, and this project is kind of about trying to revive this structure and find contemporary interpretations for, for what it can be used for now. Uh, this is the Mobile Museum, which is a project by Philip Bone, who's a graphic designer from England, and myself. Um, and it's called the Mobile Museum. Basically, it's a mobile museum, and in that sense, it is everything that a real museum has, but on a micro scale. Um, we try to curate small exhibitions, um, which are always related to the location and related to the place that it travels to. Um, so every time we come to a new place, we have a new curatorial theme. Uh, for Luxembourg, we chose the theme of money. And everything that you can see here is an item that's been donated to the museum by international creative people responding to the theme of money. We think that if you put all these things together, um, they kind of speak very loudly and they speak bigger than each item on its own. Yes, we have um, merchandising, we have postcards. Um, in previous events, we've had posters. Sometimes uh, we've had a coffee shop. Yeah, well. yeah, yeah. In the first event in Milan, we had a coffee shop, but in this case, we had so many contributions that we didn't have space to have a coffee shop. So this is the Net Caban. This is my Caban. I'm Georgia. And uh, for this Caban, I decided to start from the original one. And that probably belong to fishermen. So I decided to use the rope because of that environment. And so I decided to combine the ropes with the structure um, because they can work really well together in the way that the rope helps the structure to be fixed and the structure helps the ropes to draw and to define this space. So I decided to, to do a kind of yeah, space, a room, where the ropes define the ceiling, the sides and the floor. And yeah, basically um, these two materials together uh, works really well in that sense. Uh, this caban is called Soft Fold and it's by Marie Desson and Margot Keller, who are both French industrial designers. Um, and they were kind of using fabric as a way to kind of define a small room. Uh, so they're playing with this idea of the fabric becoming the wall and the fabric becoming the floor. Um, basically it's a kind of chill out room for reading a book or using a laptop or relaxing. Um, and it's sort, of, uh, it's sort of like blurring the boundaries between textiles and structure and furniture. Um, a really interesting detail is this neon light um, where you have this yellow piece, you have a neon light installed inside. Um, you have a cool blanket that can basically be folded over and 
cover, covering yourself if it's cold. Um, this little table here is designed especially for a laptop. Um, the circle on the top is for the cable to pass through. Um, so basically it can kind of be like a, a home office space or a reading space or um, a space that's really easy to travel. Um, basically because everything's made of fabric, you can pack it very easily and take it somewhere else. Okay, so this cabana is by um, Valentino Caretta and Gustavo Million, and who um, is a Chilean photographer and an Italian product designer. So the cabana's about going back to nature and this, is, this canopy in the photo was by the photographer. So they wanted to depict this environment and I guess it's also taken from this idea that the structure was made to be outside. Um, so all the elements as well are using the materials in their sort of basic state. So using like the trunks of the wood um, with the um, mirrors to sort of reflect this canopy. So this is um, my caban by Kirsty Min. Um, my caban was looking more at maybe more awkward spaces and the idea of a waiting room. So this idea that you have to face um, time and be more conscious about time. So this was what the project was about. So this was about counting um, days in your in the year, more about um, time um, hours in the day, and then this was more about seconds and minutes. Um, so it's this whole principle that you have to um, facing time is about facing your own existence, and that's what this caban was trying to discuss but also by the fact that this structure is temporary. That was another layer about this whole idea of time and um, temporality. Uh, this caban is by Amory Poudre, a French designer, and Brian Wood, who is an American graphic designer. And uh, it's called Rod. And um, basically what they wanted to do was to use the caban structure itself and only the caban without adding anything, mm. um, but to make an interpretation um, without any extra ingredients. So this was their challenge. Um, and basically what we see here is a half dismantled caban. And then the structure that was removed from the caban is creating this new piece, which is a kind of sculptural, sculptural interpretation of a clothes hanging rack or something kind of ambiguous, but basically you get the sense that it could be used for something. Um, it was kind of talking about flat pack culture and deconstruction culture, but not in a, in a very kind of poetic way. Um, and basically what we see here in terms of the colors um, is that you can, you can really relate to the individual elements because you can see that the blue piece here is corresponding to the blue piece there. Um, so there's a kind of coordination between the original caban and then its new, its new interpretation. And I think also they were very much interested in the fact that the caban structure in itself was um, well designed, so in a way adding something to it wasn't the answer, which I think is quite interesting way of looking at it.